How can you help when a child is abducted in your area? By getting free Amber Alert text messages on your cell phone. Then you'll be ready to alert the authorities. To sign up, go to wirelessamberalerts.org. A child is calling for help. Brought to you by the Ad Council and KQBB-FM. With your local and area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. This news brought to you by Sandy Wheeler State Farm. On Farm Market Road 139, it was the scene of a fatality crash on December the 16th at about 5 p.m. Texas Department of Public Safety troopers responded to and investigated a one-vehicle fatality crash on Farm Market Road 139, approximately eight miles northwest of Shelbyville. The crash investigation indicates that a 2001 Ford truck was traveling east on Farm Market Road 139 when the vehicle left the roadway and overturned. The driver of the truck was identified as 57-year-old James Peterson from Ben Wheeler, Texas. Peterson was pronounced deceased at the scene by Shelby County Justice of the Peace Marla Denby. The city of Tenaha is going to have a city council meeting today starting at 5.15 p.m. The city of Joaquin will have a city council meeting tomorrow beginning at 6 p.m. at the Joaquin City Hall. The Shelby County Memorial Veterans of Foreign War Post 8904 in the Auxiliary are proud to announce that Joaquin High School senior Darby Hughes recently placed 15th in the Voice of the Democracy state-level competition. She will receive a $2,000 scholarship. The Woodman Life Chapter 250 will host their annual Christmas party today starting at 6 p.m. The party will be held at Lynn Locks located on Highway 96 South and Center. Mount Gilead Missionary Baptist Church is hosting their Christmas program on Christmas Day, December the 25th, beginning at 8 a.m. instead of 11 a.m. this year. The Blue Santa Toy Drive is in full force. The Center Police Department and the Shelby County Outreach Ministries have partnered together to make sure that all the boys and girls of our county have a Merry Christmas. Join in by helping Shelby Savings Bank by spreading the love by dropping off a toy at the main branch here in Center, or you can drop off a toy at the Center Police Department all the way until December the 21st. Well, Center, Timpson, Joaquin, and San Augustine have all released. Tenaha ISD will be releasing early tomorrow at 11.30 for the Christmas break. Now, going on today at Tenaha, Tenaha Band is going to have their Christmas program at 2 p.m. this afternoon. On December the 12th, approximately 200 fifth graders attended the annual Center High School Fair. Center Middle School held their annual talent show on Friday, December the 16th, just hours before students were released for their holiday break. The winners for the talent show are as follows. Third place, Max C. Yu singing... Like I'm Gonna Lose You, second place, Cranwell Orejo and Jack Callen Wallington for Impromptu Comedy, and first place, Cameron Akubar singing Hallelujah. And in your rest report this morning in Shelby County, Vernon Garrett, age 53, of Center, failure to appear, original charge, credit debit card abuse, failure to appear, original charge, theft by check, Kara Gardner, age 23, of Center, assault causing bodily injury, Joseph Wyndham, age 34, of Center, burglary of a habitation, Mary A. Thomas, age 34, of Center, Theft, insurance fraud. Brian D. Biddick, age 42, of Shelbyville, theft. Kenneth Earl Bolton, age 54, of Center, parole violation, assault of a peace officer. Joel Porter, age 44, of Center, driving while intoxicated. Eric Bremer, age 54, of Shelbyville, criminal attempt of murder. And Takesha Lathan, age 32, of Center, possession of a controlled substance, two counts. And in San Augustine County, there are no new arrest reports as of this morning. For more information on our stories, please visit our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go. This has been your local and area news. This news brought to you by Sandy Wheeler State Farm.